Keep on my Oko. Welcome to Midday Manao with Manu and Mehana. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect timing. Everybody should be eating their mea ai right now. Right? A pupa akai kako. Right. Yeah, and enjoy this with me and Manu today. I, you know, I'm so loving this show because we have a special guest later on. Not right now, but later on, our special guest is coming on. It's very dear to both um, Manu and me. Yeah, so, so Anakala. Dear. Anakala. Yeah, we're gonna make them guess throughout the show. Yeah, we're not yeah, gonna we're they're... not gonna ve -ve -ve <laughs> who, who that. Not just yet. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of things going on um here in our homeland of Hawaii um in this last couple of weeks and upcoming. You know, Manu, what do you think about this epic year at the state legislature where uh close to one billion dollars is going out into the Native Hawaiian community. Of course, 600 million to the Department of Hawaiian Homelands for waitlisters. Also another 300 million um, out there for um, those that were involved in the um, Kalama case. Um, keep in mind, keep in mind, come inside, come inside. Ooh, we yeah, always have mind. guests over here. One of these days, we're gonna open it up. You're gonna have to buy tickets to this show. And you can come <laughs> sit with us inside here. Well, you know yeah. what, to answer your question though, I think that, that this, uh, and it seems like a windfall for uh, for our Hawaiian community through um, Aina Ho'opula Pula or Hawaiian Homes and through other Hawaiian programs. Uh, in a in an almost sad way, uh, we can say time will tell. Mm. But I want to I want to just backtrack a few months ago. Uh, we went to Washington D.C. Wa Kinekona Dese to to mark the uh, July 9th uh, century. 100 right. years since the passing of the Aina, uh, of the Kanavai Aina Ho'opula Pula. And so, you know, and we think back to Kalaniano Ole, to oh, yeah. our, our Ali'i, and what, what they struggled to, uh, to achieve on our behalf. Um, I, I think uh, it, and it has been 100 years, and now we're now into the, into the following year for the state legislature to, uh, to consider and to debate uh, these, uh, uh, and I hate to say entitlements, but these mm. rightful mm -hmm. resources right. for our community, which betters, I believe, the entire Pai oh, yeah. Aina oh, and yeah. really the world overall. I think that's, so, a, that's the point that's being missed right now, right? Yeah. That there's actually these things that are usually sectioned off as, you know, just pertaining to Native Hawaiians right. actually benefit the entirety of the Pai Aina. Exactly. Right? And, and I, I think that we that all should know that we have a kuleana, and that, that is our uh, uh, a commitment, ongoing expression of aloha aina. Oh, yeah. And that's not only for Hawaiians, but that is certainly for Hawaiians. We all should feel that. But this aloha aina is a, is a connection, a responsibility, and a privilege to interact with these sacred lands from the top of Mauna Kea down to the the one pupu or nihau o Oh yeah, that's our oh. little our kind. Yeah, to our to our lays. There we go. Thank you, Manu. Let me borrow his today. We yeah, didn't I'll have to share soon. that, but no. <laughs> I'll bring my own next week. I promise. I promise. <laughs> you know, when we were in D.C. a year ago, um, Manu, one of the things that fascinated me was we got to see the actual pala pala right that was signed and that and all the records pertaining to the the navigation that Kuhio had to do. Um, while he was there to get this passed. Now, we know we're not in an ideal situation, right? The 600 million that's coming down um, are for waitlisters. Um, there's some monies in there to build up what we're thinking, right? That what possibly might happen is that there's a building up of, of new homes, and mm -hmm. then there's also um, down payment assistance that's gonna go towards that, right? So, like you said, right? It's, uh, it's almost like a wait and see game. We'll see how it happens, but this right. is a great, we cannot deny that it's a great thing, and we just have to remind everybody out there that this does not take care of the no. entirety of the Kuleana, no. the state of Hawaii has um, to our Native Hawaiian um, DHHL child beneficiary. What else do we have to talk about you know, today? Well, I wanted to lead into that. So we have convention coming up in July. Come, come check it out, everybody. What's it's going to be excited. Um, the theme this year is Hulihia. And Ha'i Mai Koman, Vehe Vehe Mai Oikela. No, I want to get your, so that's my one word. I'm going to toss it to you. Hulihia. Well, I, well yeah. it's what a, you, uh, Hulihia is like a, a sudden, intense, uh, like an eruption. It's a change, a change that is oh, yeah. that, that happens 
really quickly, and you're not always uh, necessarily prepared for that. So huli in Hawaiian means to turn, and hulihia means turned or upturned. Hulihia, huliau, and hulilau, but huliau uh, also really uh, are kind of the same. And we learned that. I'm gonna throw it back to you, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, and you can make the connection. Hiiaka ikapoli o pele. Yes, yes. So there is a whole genre of chants, right? Called the hulihia chants mm -hmm. that do talk about this, talk about that natural phenomenon that happens in our environment, but also related to the people and our social organizations of ourselves, right? Throughout, um, throughout history, and that's why that. Is such a powerful theme because wouldn't you say that's kind of what we've come through, right? In the last couple years, over and over again, right? Over uh, generationally, right. yeah. And so now it is now that we've had a huli here and we're going through, right? Where where you know some would say that we're still in that huli here right now. Um, there's next steps that have to be taken, yeah. right? There's things that need to happen to settle everything, right? Mm -hmm. To be the hiiaka now that comes on top of that, right? Yeah. And starts to have the kupu kupu come up now and all those key people and the ohi alehua which we're going to yes. get to shortly right but right let me, exactly. let me tell you about because i, I look at you because lala k i'm a, oh, I'm yeah. a, a again I, I, they put me in the, in the corner to sit <laughs> and punish me as a board member of lala k foundation I, auntie pua i'm really ready now but anyway <laughs> uh but auntie pua kanahele of, of, of the island of hawaii who teaches these kinds of things uh, reminds us that life is about cycles. Oh, yeah. And so if we think our experience, makeia, noho honua nei, that uh, during our lifetimes on earth, as Hawaiians or as human beings, is uh, is something special or something that, that defines Aesthetic, all yeah. of, of time right. immemorial, that's it not the it. case. Right. Because these things have happened over and over again for hundreds of years. And so the huli hia happened regularly to remind us and to wake us up and to ask the question, are we makaukau? Are you prepared to face huli hia? And, 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 mm. and, 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 and I'm, I'm not even sure if I am or if you are, but right. we try. But you cannot just sit around and, or, or as Grandma Dem would say, tu na na. Just stand and just look like yeah, 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 yeah. and with with no, you gotta right. you gotta be prepared so that when change is gonna happen, you can either go with it, like like Heinalu, or you can go over the falls at Sandy's and eat sand. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna stop on that note because you've given us many a visuals to 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 think about, and we're gonna cut away for a commercial and be right back. Imagine. A destination experience that embraces our aina, people, and all that we love about home. A shared kuleana between kama aina and marihini. And a visitor industry focused on keeping Hawaii, Hawaii. It's time for a new chapter. Join the discussion at the Native Hawaiian Convention, July 19th to the 22nd. For more information, visit hawaiiancouncil.org. See, so everybody's going to come July 19th to the 22nd and join us. We have some great surprises at the convention. We're I'm here. excited. Time for change. Yes. You know, um, Manu, when we was, right before break, we were talking about the whole action of Hulihi and Hi'iaka and all that, right? One of the most, um, besides the Pele, right? One of the images that I get all the time is maybe because I'm biased and mm -hmm. I'm Napule Olikule Hua, right? Um, is the Ohi'a. Right, right. And the role of the ohia. Now, the governor just signed a bill, right, designating the ohia lehua as the like official um, state endemic tree. Um, you know, and we really appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> mahalo, mahalo, you know, much, governor. Much like when in, in the 1920s, when the lehua was designated as the flower of of the uh, official flower of Mokuo Keave, you know. <laughs> We appreciate that too. <laughs> you know, and I just like any opportunity to draw attention to the Ohia. The right? Ohia Lehua is a Kino Lao or body form of the god Ku. Oh, yeah. And the god of politics, government, warfare, and battle. Thank you. Mahalo Nui. <laughs> That was our Ha'avina of the day. If you guys never know. If you're not sure what about that, know. go look them up. Use the Hawaiian yeah. search engine, Go Ogle. <laughs> go Ogle. 
<laughs> that's a new one. I never hear that one before. I get, I get plenty more. Anyway, <laughs> no. but no, no, seriously though, Mahalo Anui, I mean, the designation of the Ohi Alehua, uh, and you know, because so when she said it was, it was dear, near and dear to her heart, so Mehana, if you know this or not, is a longtime student of Kumuhula Lena Ala Kalamahaini, a dancer and a long time, the deep rooted student of Napuale Oliko Lehua, and also went through the Uniki ceremonies, which involved the Lehua, oh, yeah. which is a kino lau of the goddess of, or the or the Aku. I shouldn't say goddess, god goddess Akua of Hula, a Lehua, the red Lehua, the yellow Lehua, mm, the orange, yeah. all of that, and the Liko Lehua are the young buds of the the leaf buds of that of that plant. So. Uh, it is personal to all of us, Alehua. That designation is meaningful uh, in many ways, uh, and, and many of us already know that, but honestly, many of us really don't. Right. So that designation by Governor Ige is much appreciated. Uh, the Ohi Alehua as... Uh, and, and, and the, 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 our state endemic tree. Endemic. Yeah. yeah. So that's my cut. That's what I hope, right? The, I hope for more education around this very significant I'm not plant. sure, actually. So... Let's have a conversation about endemic and indigenous. Okay, okay. They're two different things. <laughs> right. Because get Ohi Alehua in other parts of the world. Right. So I think, well, I'm not, go ogle. <laughs> go. You guys go. F Let us know. Call us up, and then you tell us what the difference <laughs> is. Right. No, my kai, my kai. Yes, because there are some, and we'll bring up, we'll bring on our neighborhood friendly botanists onto the show, and we'll talk plants. We should actually do that one day. We should because Kino Lao and, and our, our our plant families, right, are so important to us. Yeah. We should have that, and we have we have a bunch of Native Hawaiian. We have so much now, to scientists. talk about. I only lava come lava. I only lava now. Hola ikala. You know, but the reason why I love the Ohia, right? When I was um, working with Auntie um, Fuakanahele on uh, Papaku Makabalu, mm -hmm. one of the things that we would often talk about is how the Ohia Lehua's job is to bring water. Mm -hmm. It is uh, on see on Oahu we don't really see huge Ohia Lehua trees. Right? You go Hawaii Island, you go Kauai, you see the ones the the house posts right there, those those really 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 tall mm -hmm. trees. And its job is to pull in vite out of the clouds, you know, out of the sky, pull that vite in, bring it down into the ground, and then it feeds all of the other kids. And also right into the right, pua. And right who enjoys pua. that vai lehua birds? Right. That's right. Yes, Manu. Manu. <laughs> so next time you see Manu and he look a little bit hungry, bring him some lehua that he can, you know, mukiki okay, vibe Again, from. mahalo for that, that official designation, right. mahalo nui loa. Well, what, what else we got to talk well, about today? The reason why I want to draw that connection between the water is that we have here on Oahu a water crisis, right? Yes. So Red Hill, many people know about what's kind of going on with Red Hill, right? They see they see all the families getting affected by it. Um, but one of the things that's still not as known is its effect on our aquifers itself, yep. right? And so just this past week, or actually for weeks now, um, Ernie Lau and, and his colleagues at the Board of Water Supply have been telling people hey, this is going to have possibly not only the health impact and the impact directly on the water system, but a huge economic impact. And that's because developments here, so you can look around and see whatever developments that are being built, new buildings, homes, um, areas that, you know, large developments are happening, whether they go from uh, the stadium, you know, up Malka in Aiea. If you live anywhere in a 96 nine six eight basically yeah. right in in honolulu right. you're you are tremendously affected by the quality of that water in that aquifer not only for your health but also if you was planning to do any kind of development on your aina now most people be okay yeah no mm. you know power the development generators is like, oh yeah but there's a lot of native hawaiians and there's a lot of people in that community who are on that on that that train of that economy yeah. right we have our brothers and sisters who are construction workers you know that are working on these sites um the cdl drivers you right, know right. um the logistics all the guys who do logistics and so forth so and besides the homes themselves all right. right all of these will be impacted if we do not pivot and really take a close look 
Puli here, right? And take a close look at what's happening on water and take that part seriously. You know what? So, Vai, so water. And, and while we, we are discussing, and specifically, and it's easy to point the, you know, point the finger and blame on the Navy or whoever is uh, responsible for this uh, uh, contamination of our, of our water supply. But we want to recognize way back uh, the Makavai Coalition, mm. Waiahole, Waikane. Mm. We also want to acknowledge the, the Navai Eha mm -hmm. uh, issues on the island of Maui. But uh, regardless of what the details are of this current crisis, I think what we need to remind ourselves as not just uh, Lahui Hawaii, but er anybody who lives in Hawaii, is that we need to malama our land. And that is Aloha Aina. Oh, yeah. We are too many of our people, and sometimes oh, yeah. us mm -hmm. in, even included, mm -hmm. we're throwing opala uh, out, out uh, or in the streams. I see all kinds of streams that from Mauka to, to Makai that are filled with, with rubbish oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. because people just kiloi. And that is disrespectful to our ancestors, to ourselves, to our Aina. And so when we are critical of issues, about, about contamination of water, let's not be uh, among those contaminators. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good, that's a really good note. Mahalo. Mahalo. You speak so kind. You know, you are my, my kua ana. <laughs> that was very kua ana advice right there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. To it everybody. It, it must be the coffee. <laughs> Puli here. We'll see you at the convention in yes. July. Yes. You know, one of the other things that we're undertaking here, and this is a complete shift. Right? Well, now we're going to, you know. Another gonna huli here. Yeah, we're going to, another huli here. We're going to turn, right, is um, the work, the tremendous work that is being done um, with um, repatriating our ibi kupuna, right? So for almost 30 years, from hui malama ina kupuna o hawaiine, now to hui, um, hui ibi iva See, I want to say Eva Kilo Moku because I'm looking at you. I know, I, 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 about another Kumeha. bird reference, right? Right, another bird on here. Um, but Hui Ivi Kua Mo'o, right? And the work that they're undertaking right now. Yes, and just in this last year, just from January until now, six over 60 kupuna have come home from where they were taken to um, across the world. Mm. Now, we know that there was a heva um, committed generations ago mm. where our kupuna were taken from, um, taken from Hawaii, stolen from their graves, and taken and spread across the world. And other now, kupuna from around the world yes. taken by curious right. uh, diggers. This is actually a global it's movement. Global. It's a global, it's global. movement so of indigenous people. We have to remember people. that, that yes. many of our issues are issues around the world, right. so let's not live in a vacuum. Right, right, That's right. That's right, Eureka. And the <laughs> I just caught that now. Eureka, that's so 1980. Oh, but this is a serious subject. Right, right, right. Might, but no, 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 my kai. Um, and so that work is being still undertaken to this day, right? And we are heading to Aotearoa um, to bring back kupuna. We're, we're taking a kupuna back um, to its homeland and then we're bringing our kupuna home, right? That work is a tremendous undertaking of, of not only. Um, Pule and learning protocol and being able to help Kupuna reconnect um, home, but it also takes tremendous skills in research, in navigation and negotiating with institutions who are historically, right, historically racist, historically problematic in the way that they have dealt with not only um, Native Hawaiians, of course, the indigenous peoples, Ibi Kupuna and their, their mea kapu. Um, and now we're seeing, hopefully, right, um, Haleolo Ha'eyao has taught me uh, a very good lesson mm. about trying to approach the humanity in these institutions, right? And sometimes we have to wait a couple of generations mm -hmm. until the old guard uh, that has been protecting these kinds of racist ways of, of dealing with our kupuna, um, wait for them to move on, right? Until a new generation can come on. And we're at a you know a good time right now, but we still need the support of our people. And so CNHA is, is happy to support yes, that. Yes, and I, I'm very happy for that too. Uh, but I want to mention um, um, uh, uh, my brother, our brother, um, Hale Aloha. Mm. And this is something that the, the guest who's, I think, still going to be introduced shortly, that yes. he taught as my teacher, my kumu, taught me that certain oihana within our mo'omeheu 
um, are not as um, glamorous as mm. you might think. You know, and this particular job that, that Hale Aloha has committed his life to is difficult work. It's ko'i ko'i. And that's why every now and then, even what we talk about, the, these ko'i ko'i means deep and really, really deep. And sometimes we have to kind of uh, take a break and, and get a little aka aka, a little laughter going and some humor, and not to be disrespectful in any way, but to go back then to the ko'i ko'i. And his work is just that. Besides Evie, which are, which are our... Uh, the skeletal remains of our, our po'e kupuna, that's where the, the term o'ivi comes from. Oh, yeah. It's a part of that. Also, kula'ivi. And kula'ivi means both native homeland and also native person. Uh, but I'm going to uh, shift a little bit to because you, you're on your way uh, shortly to yes. the land of a long white cloud. In Hawaiian, <laughs> we say au kea loa. In uh, uh, Aotearoa, they say Aotearoa. It's the same thing. And that is the uh, years ago from Te Papa, when the, the feather cape was brought and actually uh, uh, brought back to Kahale Ho Ike Ike O Kamehameha Bishop Museum from Te Papa uh, with, with beautiful ceremony, uh, but to see that Ahu Ula. So those. Um, uh, artifacts, if you want to call them, or uh, in, in Aotearoa, they refer to that as taonga, and taonga are, 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 are things of great value, both physical and, and uh, uh, animate and inanimate. So your work and you're going down there, Mehana, uh, where exactly is Te Papa? And give us a little bit of a description yeah, of that. Yeah, so Te Papa, actually our kupuna are coming from the Canterbury Museum um, to, um, they're going to bring them to Te Papa, and Te Papa will be our meeting place. Te Papa is in Wellington, New Zealand, and it is their national museum, for um, lack of a better term um, to call them. And they have been, Te Papa is the, the, leading institution in, in Aotearoa uh, for the repatriation of their Ivi Kupuna, right? They're, they are, along with us and along with Hale Aloha Ma and Ivi Kuamo'o, Hui Ivi Kuamo'o, are going around the world to bring back their Ivi Kupuna to, again, to firm up that Kula Ivi, right? To kanu that Ivi back in there so that we can have our Kula Ivi, right? Because right? it's disrupted right now. Um, so we mahalo, we mahalo nui loa to te papa and the kind, the, the kind of wisdom and that they're uh, encouraged, that they're leading museums, which are not usually are not not typically. That, not typically woke, right? They're not typically the institutions that, you know, express their humanity in these ways. They are the they are the hoarders, right? Museums are traditional hoarders. Mm -hmm. They, you know, if they had a TV show about hoarding, right, they should actually start with the museums because that's well, what yeah, museums, museums are. Museums are basically, they have a, a 19th century mentality oh, yeah. and it's not a bad oh, yeah. thing. It's just the way it is. Right. Everything behind glass and they call them artificial curiosities. I want to make a little connection back to the Ohi Alehua uh, or, the, uh, or the, yes. the, the, the tree that has been designated as official uh, as a native, uh, native tree, native plant in Hawaii, that at a place in, in Aotearoa on mm -hmm. the North Island called Waitangi, and Waitangi is very important from the 1841 Treaty of Waitangi, which actually uh, established and, 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 and made uh, law the protection of those taonga, those things that are important, including Maori language. In, in, in their language, Maori is, in our language, it's Maori. Uh, it's not, we hear it a lot as Maoli, but. Yeah, no. It's Don't say that anymore. Two syllables, Maoli. Yeah. Maoli. Anyway, in Waitangi, there is a po or a, a, mm. a, a, a ki'i that was erected there by, by our um, Hawaiian uh, delegations because we were. Uh, uh, designated uh, by uh, by a, a kupuna back in the 1980s as a as ohana mm -hmm. to them, and that kii, which is made of ohi alehua, oh. which again is the kino lao of government, politics, strength, war, and a acquisition. It stands there, and the name of that kii or the name of that po is maile, uh, maile, Maui pa ma mau which means Maui the, that, 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 that reaches the far yeah. out there, that touches in a great distance. So our Ohi Alehua stands at Waitangi, which is important. And your trip 
to Aotearoa mm. is Manui Loa. You know, and I've been to Waitangi. I've seen that ki'i, and I did not even know this mo'olelo. Yeah, and so, so mahalo no that is, is, is currently a little, little uh, a plug for Kamehameha Schools, right. uh, you know, uh, and our Po'ehaumana uh, uh, Malila. But uh, as, as part of the connection between Aotearoa and Hawaii and throughout Moana Nui Akea, which is a broad ocean that not divides, but connects all of us together. Everybody um, is, uh, so uh, a, a new ki'i is being made. So ki'i uh, images, uh, because they are made of wood, and in this case, ohi alehua, uh, weather and mm -hmm. other elements and other, other uh, conditions uh, will kind of uh, take them, yeah. uh, you know, yeah. kind of deteriorate erode them, them or deteriorate yeah. them, exactly. And even in traditional times, this is not anything new, that their uh, ki'i could be retired. Mm -hmm. And what they do is, uh, the, the spirit of the ki'i is uh, it's a, a process called mahiki. And mm -hmm. mahiki is to take out the spirit from that la'au, or from that wood, mm -hmm. and then possibly That's to right. replace it by expert uh, carvers, trusted carvers. And then you you put back into that, and uh, that is I mean, that's just a process, and I, I am no expert in that. But our ohi alehua, and in Aotearoa also they have their own form of ohi alehua, yes. which is called puarata, and there's another name. Pohutukawa. Pohutukawa. Yes, it's a lehua cousin. So we not only cousins of, of Kanaka, we cousin, our puas are cousins too. <laughs> That's again a whole nother show. <laughs> yeah, we need to do an evening version of this show, like Midnight Mana or something Ooh. like that. Yeah. Oh, that's we'll a, do midday and midnight. And you know what? Yeah. Our costumes are going to change. <laughs> yes, it is. We might just have lace. Yeah, yeah, that's all. Just that's lace. another yeah. huli here <laughs> all together. I hope you are having fun with us. And this leads us perfectly, perfectly into our next um, guest. And before we do, um, we'd like to send a shout out again and with every episode to Kaiser Permanente and their funding of this through their community benefit fund. We thank you guys so much um, for doing this. This is an initiative to bring equity and, and justice and have these really kind of difficult conversations that Manu so expertly explained how we have to go deep and then we have to come up to the shallow and then go deep and come up to the shallow. That is our way. You really call that. that. Aka Aka Leonui, A L N. Laugh out loud. We need shirts. We're going to make shirts because we usually do bumper stickers, we need but we're not doing so many shirts. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We need one a week that Louis we can produce shirts. from here. You know, but while we're up in this little -le -le mood, you know, we have again a special guest. Um, and again, it's gonna be good fun. It's gonna be fun, mostly because Manu. Yeah, Manu is is gonna um, the kind push the buttons of our next guest and and have him. I am a very effective irritant. He and, is uh, with a guest is. Uh, Hiki Mayana. Yeah, so. But, and, and make aloha, no. but you know, but he is uh, not, he's not our uncle. Well, he's, he's your uncle. uncle. Yeah. But. Don't you call him uncle. Don't call though. him uncle. Yeah. Don't call him I auntie. I can call him uncle. Yeah. Don't, and don't, don't, definitely don't, don't, call don't call him auntie. unless he calls don't you first. Don't call him. That is the rule to live by. And of course, some of you out there, if you know us, you know who we're talking about. Uh, <laughs> Robert Uluvehi o Napua Ikave Kiu Okalani Kazamero Kumuhula. And after that, we'd like to say to all of you guys, after this interview, we're going to say ahui ho kako until our next show. Aloha ho kako, everybody out there. Again, this is one of our favorite segments of Midday Manao. Yeah, Manu? Hi, Pono um, We have an entirely special bean <laughs> in our presence today. Did you say bean? Bean. Or, or bean. bean. Oh, okay. Yes. I, I heard bean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Manu might have to put his earphones back on. <gasps> yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> But you know, as usual, right, Midi Manao, we're going to bring the best of Hawaii to showcase the excellence that we have here in Hawaii and also to celebrate culture, um, our, our engagements um, with each other and just life in Hawaii, right? And none other than our first guest being, I call him Anakala Uluvehi. Don't call him uncle though. Yeah. yeah. But uh, you can. Yeah. But I can. Yeah. GCMU. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Manu calls him Kumu. Yeah, and this is, of course, none other than um, the iconic um, Robert Uluvehi Kazumara. Aloha, Anakala. Aloha. 
Mahalo for having me here. It's lovely to be here with you both in mm. this uh, talk story session. Mahalo, mahalo. You know, um, Manu, mm. did you want to start with anything first? I want you to like get it out of your system. Well, okay, I, you know? okay. Well, okay. And, and thank you for allowing me to you know <laughs> get it out of my system. <laughs> I was fifteen. Oine was twenty nine. And I walked wow. into the room at 3 o'clock in the afternoon on October 26th, uh, 1978. Uh, the Lili Uokalani room at Bishop Hall, 1529. That was the beginning of my life in Halau Nakamale or Lili Lehua. And that's all I have to say. It's out. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> for now. Just for now. So um, my little um, back uh, track to the beginning of time is I was just born, oh. and then <laughs> in Damn, 1972, in 1972, and then Anakala Uluvehi, Uncle Roland, Uncle Lennis, who um, Auntie Le, Auntie Ala, uh, no, well, Uncle no. Sam Ako, the five of us, the five godfathers, oh, Sam right? Ako, Sam Ako, yes, uh, on Maui now. Yeah. Um, all gathered around at five godfathers, you know, that, that came around and was the hedge for, a hedge of protection. The Kahu said that we, we had to be the hedge for this newborn child. Oh, uh, five of us. And, and I think I'm not the only one left of the hedges, am I? Um, you, Uncle Sam, and Uncle Lennox. That's right. Yeah, Sam Uncle. But, you know, you're the main bush of the hedge. Evidently. I've been, <laughs> I've been a bush for a long time. <laughs> And Uncle Roland used to only call me Hedge so much so, I think he actually forgot my name. I, I, I don't think he actually, Uncle Roland, love you. I don't think he actually remembered my name. He would call me Hedge everywhere he saw me. That's right, and I was I like, wait, I'm I the Hedge or are they the Hedge? It's confusing. I don't know my Bible scriptures very well, but it's, it's all good. And so lovely well, for I'm you in to it be to that. Yeah. There you go. There you go. You know, what Anacola, an interesting way to talk about yeah. Start this but you know what? I've known you all pretty much all my life. I've, I never knew about the hedge story. Yeah. 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 Five yeah. of us. I knew about the bush, but I didn't know about the hedge. <laughs> That's another show. That's a whole other That's show. That's a whole other show. Yeah, What's that, the word that of happens the day? at night over drinks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you yeah. know, Anakala, you just came back from a whirlwind tour of, uh -huh. of Yapana. Yes. Yeah, with some great friends, and we loved Mahalo for chronicling all that. You right? know, it was that really was great to be with Kili, Rachel, and also with uh, Kuana Taurus. And, you know, it, it, just the opportunity to sit down to talk story and then to hear stories of why and how songs were written um, is the kind of a thing that we have. You have a tendency to, to take it for granted, mm -hmm. and then when it's actually happening in front of you, it is... Uh, eye-opening and thrilling and uh, uh, emotional it's all those things so we had a great tour happy to be home but we had a great tour you know and one of the th to go off of what you just said you just um, released um, a couple months ago uh, self made CD right, yeah. of music yes. of all your original compositions. I know, I thought that was kind of interesting to tell you the truth. Yeah. yeah first time doing that. Yeah, the album is called Mine. The CD is called Mine. And uh, I wrote, actually, I wrote 10 of the songs and two of the other songs I just wrote the melodies for. Mm. This one song was written by Mary Kavena Pukui. Mm. Oh, yeah. And the other one was written by another student of mine and his little brother, uh, Stuart Kilohana Domingo. Oh, mm. so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, just to take a moment here, I, I would like to, because Midday Manao, uh, brought to you by the uh, Council for Native Hawaiian Advancement, Good is one. really designed to share stories that, I mean, I have known uh, Mike Kumo all my life, and Mehana as well, and I've just heard things I've never heard before. So all of you out there, uh, especially, and get your kids in the room, uh, let your kids ho'olohe, and learn something from not so much the the elders, but from people who have experiences that you don't. You know, and like you said something a little bit earlier that which I really really like. You know, yes, this is uh, it, it's for all of us here. It's not just for Hawaiians, but it's for all citizens of this land right. because it has to. As much as we are trying really hard to pie pie uh, the Hawaiians, we are trying to also to pie pie. All of us. Everyone, oh, yeah. that's our yeah. kuleana. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. yeah, it is. It well, is. tell me about the songs on your album. Like, I would love, I, and here's an ukulele if, you, <coughs> if you'd like to, uh, you know, bust one you out. You know, I would, except, uh, and this is, okay, so we're sharing, yeah? So recently, I have come into an opportunity to, to realize what it's like to have arthritis. Mm. Mm. And so I can't really play the ukulele anymore. I'm mm. lucky that I can just play piano. 
But I mean, even the bass is really difficult for me to play. So I will have to pass on that. That's on and you know what? And that again is a is something that is, is very personal. But it's a reality for it all is. of us. It really Latino is. And, yeah. and all of that. But uh, ukulele aside, it's love. And you, of course, are wearing pikake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and thank you. Again, we thank our uh, Ohana over here uh, out in Kapole. But I know, Kapole. Who would have thought? Yeah. yeah. Right. You know, sometimes <laughs> when you go downtown and you want to buy some poor Kenny Kenny and some, some Pakalana, you say, oh, I'd like to get Kapole. <laughs> I will always, always we need a drum. forget that. We, we need a, we need anyway. a, yeah. Barum, yeah. Barum, barum. <laughs> so, the O O in my, the Philly Eco, say the, the Kapa Ia or mine. Mine, yeah. So, what happened was, you know, I was hanging out when the pandemic began. I found a new friendship in Kuana Torres oh, yeah. because suddenly I became the person that they decided they were going to just malama. Mm. And so, in so doing, we would talk story. And, you know, he said, Well, what are you writing these days? And I was like, I haven't written anything for quite a few years. And because of their encouragement and because we were pals and things just happened the way they're supposed to be, I really thought that once Roland passed, I would just let the years go by and I'd be happy with where I am. But uh, it sparked something new and uh, the not the consequence, but the uh, the puana of it is that I have this new CD. And I wrote 10 songs and they are all about some of my favorite places, mostly Kauai because we were on Kauai when this whole thing started. Mm. And, uh, and then for Nu'uanu because, you know, who doesn't love Nu'uanu and Manoa? I should say. All those kinds of places. And so I've, I've really, really enjoyed. Uh, honestly, when I recorded it, oh God, we are telling stories. Yeah, go, yes. please. Yeah. Share mine. I did not like the album at all. Mm. I didn't like any of the songs. I felt that my voice was really not up to par. You know, when you, when you don't use your imp instrument, mm. uh, as you know as well, um, it's real easy to have it wane. And mine was waning kind of badly. Mm -hmm. And by doing those kinds of things where we would just rehearse or I would go home and sing more often and we, or we'd go out in the yard and do some kind of broadcast, it helped to bring the voice back again. And But that uh, helped me get through the CD, but not to the point where I'm at now. You know, a, a really mm -hmm. difficult human emotion for anyone is frustration. And uh, But the good news here, and I can, I can uh, remind you of uh, your Kumo mostly, but mine as well, Neva Rego. Neva Rego, who mm. lived in that, in that house in uh, Kaimuki, in Kaimuki. Yeah. And, and would teach with, uh, with Betty, uh, teaching voice in the bel canto style of singing. And I, I, had, I think I told you this. I've, I've only really recently really remembered what she taught me to enable me to be able to sing um, forward, in front, and it's a, it's a, it's a kind of a... And I'm gonna I'm gonna quiz you shortly with okay. the song, and I'll play the ukulele. Okay. But tell me about Neva Rego. Uh, Neva was a true gift. All all of our friends were going to her for voice lessons, and it was a really dear friend, Suzanne Kaupu, oh. mm. who said to me one day, oh. um, "You you should come with me to class." Uh, and so she took me to see Neva, and uh, and that's how I met her. And then when I finally went to my first class, you guys, this is just. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Roland and I had just recorded uh, the, the CD with Kaena on it. Cool. Yeah. So I took her the CD and I said, this is for you. And, and then I left. And then when I came back, she goes, let me talk to you about your CD. She goes, you know, Robert, it's lovely, but I realize now that we have a lot of work to do. <laughs> and I was like... You and know. of course, most of us in, in, the, in the rest of the world are just like, that is the epic... Um, album of just showcasing yeah. well, your guys' voice. Not and according that song. to Neva Rego. Right. We had a lot of work to do. <laughs> but didn't it end up being just basically Robert, Robert, and Robert on that uh, vocal recording? Well, with uh, a yeah, little yeah. bit of rolling on the song. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but again, so this is going to cost you all a little bit more money so you can Venmo <laughs> or PayPal <laughs> my Yamakone uh, because this is good stuff. And that is why Midday Manao. With Mehana and Manu. Mm, 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 mm. That's a lot of M's. Well, let's put a D in there. Mm, D, mm. <laughs> Mid day. Oh, Manu. okay. See? Mid day is actually See? one word. Yeah. Not in my. I, I think that Sterling, in my book, Sterling it's three Wong would agree because he. No, uh, like, you know what the thing about it is? I don't care. I'm just saying from right now, it's going to be three words. Okay, let's yes. sing a song. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, we are? You sing. Oh, 
Okay, this is what happens. So we start a song, and am I singing lead? Is he singing lead? Because I am, you know, much much younger. So I'm not sure which I should be singing. I'm not really sure either. However, I am flexible. <laughs> And that's all you get. Yeah, that's okay. Fine. I'm, I'm fine with that. You oh. know, and then you get people like me who want to jump in and sing and realize that you have Robert Cousin no, and Manu stand Boyd. No, poor Hone is coming out. <laughs> and one no, poor so, Hone always needs yeah. a dancer. I should yeah. in D, always you know? in D. But when you're if around you don't sing you it in D, too, don't sing it at all. <laughs> That's see, that's a singer thing, cause uh, that, we don't know D, we don't know what. Oh yes, you do. <laughs> oh. oh my. I think anyway, to, yeah, I think I think our section might be moon. like wrapping up. Yeah. <laughs> so, please again about mine. Uh, how is it available, and and who produced mm -hmm. it, and a little bit more about this uh, brand new project by Kubuhula Robert Uluvehi on Napua Ikave Kiwokalani Casimero. You've just set me back there. Who produced it? I think I'd have to say I produced yeah, it. Yeah. 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 It yeah, was a self produced. Thing. Sometimes yeah. when you get older, you have to do everything by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but it was that, you know, and in the music industry, and especially here in Hawaii, right, we're so used to understanding the business as somebody else kind of produces yes, yeah. it. And, and only now, more so, have musicians um, been more independent. Yeah. Right. You know, I had I realized when I was younger that that was the most important thing to do because, you know, if it is your business, mm -hmm. then you should really learn how to take care of it. But I was more excited about the performance right. of it and just the, uh, the opportunity to be in front of a microphone mm -hmm. and to sing something that I had written. And now to know that I own all of that as well is really, uh, it, uh, it's, it's a kind of like an opportunity to just step back and go, wow, I, I, I kind of have arrived. I have arrived several times in my life. I was going to say. But I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's just, yeah. yeah. I want to say, because earlier you said that you didn't really like what you heard at, at when you uh, finished the project. Uh, and I, I understand that, and I, because you can be your own, we all can be our own worst critics. But how do you feel about the project now? I feel so much better. Mm -hmm. And I'm really grateful that it happened because uh, it is a documentation mm -hmm. of what was going on with my life at the time. And also, hopefully, it's an opportunity to, for people to realize that when you think it's over, mm -hmm. <laughs> it ain't. And it ain't over till you know, that whole saying the about it ain't until the fat lady sings. Yeah. Well, I, we, I've known quite a few fat ladies. <laughs> you know, it's like limo <laughs> on the rocks. It just kind of grows on you over it time. It does. It does. And it's, it's some of the best things that you can... <gasps> Oh, wait, it might, it might be Neva calling. It is Neva. And <laughs> while we're at it, so is Loyal Garner. My goodness. Aloha, it, Auntie Loyal. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, From but beyond. Mehana, again, yeah. mahalo to you. And, and this is a brand new program, Midday Manao, uh, Council for Native Hawaiian Advancement. And this is an opportunity. And I hope um, Oko, Keanaina, Mavaho, that all of you, the audience, you know, when we speak Hawaiian, by the way, mm. we always interpret right after so everyone feels very olu olu, very comfortable. And so with that, I mean, I would like to have your, your, your final ni now. And Kaleopa Avaris earlier had uh, an idea about giving one word and a reaction from Oidne. Oh, yeah. That's so actually a pick great... Pick a word. Yeah. Pick me, pick a word for him. Um, yeah, do, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Just, just, or just your anakala. Give me a word. Or Kaleopa. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he's over there behind the camera. Why don't you just shout out a word and let's see what happens. Hello. Oh dear God! Here we go. Uh, that, now, does it have to be one word, or can it be a thought? No, you can. Yeah, if you want to um, bounce off of that. that That's actually a nice. By one. the way, Thank you. that was very creative, Kaleopa'a. <laughs> Hello. I, I think what was creative. You was know, the we answered the telephone he changed the whole thing and went from mm. us being over here to him. <laughs> right. I thought right. it was supposed to be some more centralized. No, here, I should say. But moving right along. Yeah, I was. I was like saying, Ohe, I was Wong. <laughs> Whatever. So um, when it comes to halal, I think that what people have a misinterpretation about, I, the first thing that comes to my mind is that it's not all fun and games, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And first of all, there's an obligation if you're going to use that word, oh, yeah. you know? I, I thought I was always going to have like a hula studio. Mm. I, I don't see anything wrong in the old days of having, say, oh, you know, I belong to uh, 
Rose Joshua's Hula Studio yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Or Ilima Hula, 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 Hula Studio, yeah. because I think that's great too. So the, with that comes uh, obligation. And, uh, and it, it just isn't as easy as you think. Yeah. So and you've been be doing answer. it for so long yeah. on a color. And, and like y you've also kind of come back and forth, you know, um, in hula and in music. And your halal has just maintained this steady, amazing energy over time. From the days of, uh, who's, who's the, the OGs? Um, Oh, so we've the, got plenty. We got the, plenty. I'm not even we sure what the OG Charlie, means. The, the Uncle Vito's, the yeah. um, Uncle Babu's. Oh, now, now I understand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the bulls of the of the, the, of the halal. Yes, that's um, it. All the way down to the Cleopatra's um, yeah. buddies, you know, and the, and the younger people. You have influenced not just these men, right, and then the women um, who come, but their entire families and entire communities. And you can hold your oi. And, and, yes, and, and yes. your hula sisters yes. I have a I have a comment and because I because I have learned a great deal <laughs> from this OG. <laughs> um and that is tell me about your thoughts on and it's well when, arranging and performing music for hula mm -hmm. when you are both a kumu hula mm -hmm. and a, a musician, composer, and arranger. What is what is that what is that? Wow, that's that, that's like a question that Nick takes a whole hour to answer. Okay, so we'll see you next time uh, <laughs> with the answer. But there, I'll, 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 and, I, I'll, and, and I'll tell you why because we have both well, be, and, and we're we're blessed because we have great teachers and we have great experiences. Uh, there are those who teach hula, and, it, and there's nothing wrong with this. Who press a, a button on a, on a on a on a machine to have the music happen, and then they teach when to wehe and when to kaholo and when to kao. Uh, when you are in the room uh, with uh, Kumuhula Robert Uluvehi Casamero, and he sits at the piano and begins to sing anything. It is it it is a it's, it's a transforming moment that people don't really understand, and it's not a judgment on anyone, but it is something that is different, and I appreciate and I know you do as well. Name a few others who are able and, and please don't because it's not a, I'm not trying to you know, Kelly Irishel for instance. Yes. You just traveled with mm -hmm. him. Yes, he is he is one of those who are uh, is able to uh, sing arrange. Choreograph, teach, inspire, and uh, and and love what he does. I I do love uh, that very much, and I also think that uh, it takes a lot of work, and it's not something that you can just, like you said, you can't just press buttons. You have to really think about it. And and to me, when you're going to choose, say, a performance uh, anywhere, but in this particular case, at Mary Monarch, I like for things to be more consistent. Mm -hmm. And that it, if we're going to do a song, say, about a circus, then we're not. Even if we started off at a zoo first, that makes some kind of sense that you know the animals will connect somehow. Mm -hmm. But I mean, if you're going to do a song about Kauai and you're going to start off first in Hilo, then I think that there, there's something a little bit off about that, and that it, it takes thought, it takes time, and it takes talent. We're we're way over time here, but I want to I want to now I'm going to uh, uh, irritate you because I've done I've been doing that for years. <laughs> Uh, since and, I was 15. And it continues. Yes, it does. Yeah. Uh, but I want to I acknowledge also on behalf of the, the Council for Native Hawaiian Advancement that we lost a community leader, Colette um, uh, Yvette P.E.P.E. Machado. Uh, and I, I, I knew her very, very well. She had a puva aloha. And, and so my question to my kumu is if you were to pick a Molokai song right now to mm. sing Gotta oh, no, be, gotta be, yeah. Go ahead. Really? And again, I think we'll love no uh, But I, to uh, the Ohana of uh, Trustee Colette Machado and, and, and Ko, Ko, Koho Iomele. Mm. Perfect Hoikau. Mahalo to you. And mahalo, mahalo to you for having Aye. me here today and the wonderful establishment that is bringing this for all of us here in Hawaii today. All right. Mahalo. Okay. Mahalo. Aloha.